Hey guys, well you probably know that when you're modeling in 3D you want to avoid any poly comp you can avoid, right? Uh, to keep it low and fast. Well, uh, for that reason we tend to use normal maps, but what if you don't have the normal map that you need? Well in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your very own based on something that we model in Maya and we're going to project that in Substance Painter, okay? If you don't have Substance Painter that's fine, uh, there are other ways to do that and I'll explain, okay? Let's jump in, here we go. Hey guys, well we're in Maya 2018. This is uh, basically what we're going for. So uh, that said, let's get rid of that and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with a simple polygon cube. We're gonna hit R to scale it. We're gonna pull it out in this direction, pull it out in that direction, and basically create something that has the rough footprint of one element, okay? Then we're gonna go into the bottom. We're gonna right click at a face and delete that. And then we're going to go to the top, select that one, control E to extrude. Let's uh, tweak the offset a little bit to something like this. And then we're going to hit W and slightly raise that up. All right. Then we're going to go in, go to edge, double click on that bottom edge. And we're going to go to uh, control E to extrude again and R to scale that out slightly. And if that's not giving us what we want and it is basically, but yeah, okay, it's fine. We'll do it like this, all right? So you've got that little edge going on around the corner there, all right? Not quite there yet. We're gonna right click at object mode, uh, actually to edge mode, sorry, select all of them, and we're gonna go to a hardened edge on our mesh display to keep that nice crisp shape, all right? Okay, so one element done. Then we're gonna right click at object mode. We're gonna hit the control D to duplicate, W to move, and we're gonna move and align it up right there. F to zoom in, four for wireframe mode, and make sure that they are nicely fit together. And then we're gonna hit Shift D a couple of times to repeat that, okay? All right, drag select it. We're gonna hit Control D to duplicate it. We're gonna W to move that up. Again, F to zoom in. Make sure you got a clean fit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it to the left. Like so. That's about right, okay? So now that we have all that, we're gonna drag select all of this. We're gonna go to uh, Mesh and Combine. We're gonna hit uh, Control D to duplicate it again, W to move it up once again, and we're gonna repeat the same routine. That looks about right and hit Shift D and Shift D. Okay, so we've got a nice portion of wall going on here. We're gonna drag select everything. We're gonna go to Mesh and Combine. I want those vertices connected, so I'm gonna right click at a vertex. Drag select all of them, go to Mesh and, uh, actually Edit Mesh and Merge. 0 0.01 is fine. Hit Enter, there we go. And we're all done. So I'm gonna select this guy as an object. I'm gonna go to Edit, Delete by Type, history, and then I'm gonna to go to file, export selection, option box, let's export as an OBJ, export selection. I'll call this um, Maya wall high poly. Okay, save it on my desktop. Then next I'm gonna take in a polygon plane, hit R to scale that out. And we don't even need that subdivision, to be honest. It could be completely empty, basically. So we'll uh, just go into the attribute editor. We'll set that to one by one. Like I said, we don't really need that subdivision at all. And when you don't need it, you don't use it. And then we're gonna right click at a vertex, drag click these, and basically make sure that we're well inside the range of what we just created, okay? So we're gonna go to object mode. Let's bring it in here. That will be, okay. I'll scale it in a little bit. And once you have these elements, you can duplicate them over and over, all right? So I know that's good. Now I'm gonna use Substance Painter to bake the normal map. You can use X normal. You can use a filter in Photoshop, basically anything that will allow you to bake a normal map, all right? 
So I'm going to make sure this is UV'd. It's a flat plane, so it's automatically UV'd. But if you got something else, make sure it's UV'd before you do this, right? So that is going to be our low poly, this guy right here. So I'm going to go to File and Export Selection once again, OBJ once again, and uh, I'm going to call this Maya Wall Low Poly and Export Selection. Now, like I said, I'm going to jump into Substance Painter. So let's do that. All right, guys, we are in uh, Substance Painter. I'm going to go to File and New. I'm going to uh, discard whatever I had going on. Let's see, PBR Metal Rough, that's fine. I'm going to select my mesh. And uh, what I'm going to do here, because I um, renamed them, but you can just uh, you know forget about that. But that's what I did. So I'm going to select my Subway Low Poly. And I'm going to, um, yeah, open that up. So if I rotate, you can see it's loaded up right here. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go in and uh, bake my um, maps. So I'm going to go to Bake Textures. That will allow me to load up my high poly mesh right here. And uh, again, like I said, I renamed my files, but you know, you can disregard that. And uh, this one I just called Subway, if I can find it. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, do you do right here? Okay. So these are both set up. I can set this to 2K if I like or higher, but 2K is fine. And I'm just going to go in and bake the initial maps. Now I'm going to get some error messages because I got everything selected here. I didn't make a selection, but that's fine. We'll just uh, click on that, have that go. And already you can see that pattern showing up, all right? We'll give it a second. And once that's done, we can go to view and reset the user interface. So everything is back to normal. And here you can see that this is completely flat, nothing going on there. Okay. So this is a face count of one, right? That's all there's to it. So now this is set up here. What I could now, for example, do is uh, look for materials and uh, I don't know, let's do uh, concrete. I can drag and drop. And uh, there you go, all right? So that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. Uh, if it was, hit that like button. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future videos. And that said, thank you guys for watching. As always, I uh, love you guys to bits. See you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.